How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to No Man's Land. In the last episode, we got a lot of uh, pallets put away, got some new storage down, got some grass moving, some chaff put up, and we're ready to end out the rest of May and hopefully get into some harvesting in this episode. So, hope you guys enjoy the content. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. And let's go ahead and hop right into it. Alright, it is a rainy day in May, and we are moving right along, getting into the afternoon. Uh, we got a few things to do to finish up May today. I think some of that's going to be probably putting up the stuff at the sawmills, as well as cleaning up the area over there, getting ready to move. We need to get the TMR into the cattle as well. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at some stuff here. See what we got piled up over here at these uh, sawmills. Looks like we got quite a bit over here. Uh, yeah, quite a bit to put there, quite a bit over there. Um, let's go ahead and check our situation and see where everything's at. All right, so we have a lot of TMR. We need to get that over to the cattle. By the way, how are they doing on food and milk and slurry? Let's just take a look. All right, so they're doing okay. We still have a little bit of room left. Um, so we're looking pretty good there. Let's see. Anything we need to sell right now? Uh, we are in May. Uh, no, wool, we're not selling that. We need to actually get that over to our production units here soon, I do believe. How are they doing on wool? Yeah, they're at 2700 They do about 2800 a month, so we'll definitely get those guys filled up with another couple thousand here very, very shortly. Um, yeah, these guys are looking pretty good as far as the water goes. Stones, we'll probably have to put more of that into the gold manufacturing. How's our slurry doing? That one's good. And how's our other one? Is it full too? Yeah, it's doing okay. All right, looking pretty good there. Um, yeah, all right, everything's running pretty good. So, uh, we do need to get some stuff put away. Like I said, uh, we do have gold on the rise, which is nice. We need to keep an eye on that. Uh, mushrooms prefabs looks like uh, doing pretty good on that for money. Wow, that's actually uh, pretty decent. We could sell those. Um, we may sell some, we'll see if we need to or not. Mushrooms are back, uh, yeah, they're all going down a little bit. Keep an eye on that. Planks, uh, these planks are July, so May, June, July. We'll probably be in the next month or two. We'll be selling all of these planks that we have stored out as well. Uh, we'll do a big wood sell here before too long. We need to check the honey. And uh, <clears throat> see if there's any pallets we need to get out of there and store off as well. Um, all right, everything else looks good. So I think what we'll do, let's go ahead and run over here to our main production area real quick. Check out some of the stuff over there. We've got probably oh, two or three hours worth of gameplay here to finish up getting wrapped up for today. I think what we'll do... Uh, we'll probably turn it into a small time lapse here. Just get every pallet, everything picked up, get the cows fed, get all the TMR into the cattle and get everything ready to progress into tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a big day for us. This is where we're going to be harvesting our barley. So that's going to be a, a major part of tomorrow's operation, getting all of that done. So let's see here. How are we looking on pallets over here? We've got a few pallets out. We got some gold out. And we need to put away the minerals as well. Okay, so I'll tell you what. We may go ahead and start the day off with a little bit of cleanup. Just get everything put away. Spend some time doing that and feeding the cattle. And we'll speed up the time and get ourselves ready to move on into April. March, April, May, June, June. Sorry, I'm horrible with my months. It'll be June. So uh, we'll start off with the gold, get all that up, and then we'll grab the forklift and get everything else over there. We'll also go down and check the honey, and we'll, we'll get the trailer hooked up and get all the TMR in. So uh, should be a pretty decent little time lapse. We have a couple million liters of TMR to get in, so we'll do that at the back end of getting all the pallets put up. So uh, we'll see you guys here in just a few minutes, and until then, enjoy the music.
Alrighty, so we've got a little bit left here, and then we're going to be moving on into June. Um, let's take a look here. I think we need to repair this guy. It's pretty low, so let's go ahead and pull it in here and repair it real quick. pull around and look and see how much honey we have. Uh, it's only been a couple months worth of running it, but we should have a decent amount of honey over there we can move. We've got quite a bit of interesting So we've got some pallets in here. What do we have? We have sorghum seed, grass seed, oat seed, cotton seed, sugar beet, solid fertilizer, grass seed. We got two grass seeds. Okay, barley seed. Okay, so there's doubled up and ones are lower than the others. That's why it looks like there's so many pallets in there. Don't know where they all came from, but you know, it is what it is. Um, we've also got, it looks like some, what is that, canola oil or <laughs> olive oil? That is canola oil. Okay. We have 12 of them in there. I will get those out before too long. So, uh, let's see here. I think we go ahead and move the honey real quick. And after we're done moving the honey, we will probably progress into the next month. We may need to put a little bit of, I think we're good on wool till tomorrow morning. Um, they had 2,700 in, in a couple hours ago. So we'll double check them. If we need to throw some wool in, we'll throw some wool in. Uh, but let's do this real quick here. Shouldn't take too long. We'll just get some of this honey out of here. And those orchards are looking really good. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, better olives, better grapes. And looking really, really good. Some uh, interesting facts about honey that uh, honestly I don't know if I want to share with you guys. I learned them and I'll never really eat honey again. We still like honey. But uh, it's pretty interesting the way it's made. If you're curious about that, uh, Google how is honey made. <laughs> you might be shocked to learn how it's made if you don't already know. I do apologize if I sound a little under the weather. I am having a little bit of uh, sickness going through, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. All right, so um, we'll sit here for just a second. Let's see how much more honey spawns here. It may spawn the rest of it, but I think we'll be okay. We'll just keep an eye on it and see how much more it spawns. I do want to get the rest of them out of there, though. Um, let's see here. So we've got the cattle up to a little over a million. They're good there. How's our chickens doing? Uh, these guys are good on food. Those guys are good on food. Chickens are doing okay. We'll probably need to feed them here before too long. These guys are getting to where they may need food here very, very shortly. So we may have to feed these guys pretty soon. Uh, but all in all, they're doing okay. The cattle, we got to keep an eye on that milk. Make sure it doesn't go crazy on us. Um, let's see here. Honey, clothes were good. Olive oil. Wow, actually, olive oil is at a pretty good price right now. And we have four of them left. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll hang on to that. That's not a big deal. May, June. Actually, you know, we could sell the olive oil since it is June. We only have four, though, so I think we'll hang on to that. It's not a big issue. Um, gold, really looking forward to that being up here soon so we can get all that sold. That's going to be a lot of money incoming. Uh, prefab walls, we have a lot of currently. Uh, they're at a pretty decent price as well. Uh, those I'm not too worried about. They flux, they stay around really good prices. Metal, though, on the other hand, um, looks like it's going to hold out a pretty good price as well. So mushrooms is the next big one. October, gold in July, planks in July as well. So that'll be good. All right, we do have quite a bit more honey here, so let's go ahead and get it out. That's the rest of it. All right, so we're, uh, we're pretty close to being empty on honey here. Let's uh, get the rest of this out of here. Oh, almost tipped it over. Did you see that? Close call, but we caught it. All right, and we have most of the equipment we're going to need for the orchards uh we're going to move that cotton beller and that spreader out of there i think pretty soon and make that just the orchard vineyard barn uh with the sprayer and all that over here um we'll kind of handle that one here shortly uh we're definitely going to need more equipment for the uh orchards so we'll take a look into that here very soon and get that equipment for harvesting we're going to need the grape harvester as well. And then uh, I'm not sure what kind of trailer we can put over here to unload the grapes into. We'll have to see. I'm not sure how they'll unload, but um, we'll check it out and see. Okay, one more pallet of honey here. Let's go ahead and get that one out of there. We'll leave the other two because we can't get them out of there. I only want to take full rates so there we go okay so let's head over to uh this side of the house looks like we're, we're getting pretty close to eight o'clock so this is looking really good uh let's double check all of the production facilities see if we need to put anything else in there i think the wool can hang out until tomorrow um let's just take a look at that and see all right production wise the cotton's doing okay uh these guys are actually doing pretty well they're pretty close there um wood we're still good on tmr this one is doing just fine it'll last another month or so there uh that one's good on wood mushrooms we need to get some more water in there here shortly we'll do that uh this one cotton Gold, we need to get more stones in, so let's go ahead and do that real fast. Alrighty. Uh, cheese, we're looking good on milk there and there. Slurry, we did get those all the way full. Clothing, the fabric is, see, yeah, we're starting to build up some fabric now, which is really nice. Um, I figured that would be the case. So we're actually getting a lot more fabric now. Um, really, really good. Really, 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 really happy about that. As long as we can keep those running. Um, that'll be really good. If we can get 2000 a month in there and they're staying above like that, that's really, really good. Okay. Where were we? Let's see here. Silage, clothing, gold. All right. Water's at 79,000. So it's still doing just fine. Um, this one's milk is still at 140,000, which is very strange. It has not gone down at all. I think it's moved pulling from another source somewhere. Um, 
kind of strange, but hey, we'll let it run out. Um, I'm not going to be putting any more milk into the dairies for now uh, until we start running out of milk because we need to figure that one out. Fabrics are doing great. Slurry, that one's full as well. Um, this one here can last until tomorrow now. And wood, wood, we're good, we're good. Metal, these guys were full. Um, they're about even now, so uh, they should be just fine. And our fabrics have 2,100 in them. They should be good until morning. Uh, clothing, that's really good. These guys definitely have water. And then let's fill these guys up with stone real fast. Okay. We are looking pretty good. Uh, we are probably ready to go ahead and start moving into um, June. We do have some butter and cheese going over here, which uh, will get taken care of in the morning. We're going to go ahead and let that stack up just a little bit. Uh, we have gold, but I think we have enough room for pallets to spawn that everything will spawn overnight. Um, and then we'll have a little cleanup in the morning. We'll have some feeding in the morning. And then, uh, yeah, all in all, I think we'll be pretty set so let's see here yep all this stuff in here very nice okay so let's just double check okay everything's good let's head over to the house here um let's see there we go and yeah i say we head off into uh june and we start harvesting. Uh, we are going to need to harvest. Let's see here. Yeah, this is tomorrow. So we'll get all the trucks out, get that ready. While the harvester's running, we'll probably put away pallets and uh, continue feeding the cattle and get the tractors working on this field. So let's go ahead and do that. And see how we look. It is June. We sold some animals. Uh, we had some animal upkeep. But all in all, really good. So, a uh, nice, bright, sunny day today. It's going to be a little cloudy, but we've got a lot of sun for our harvest. And it looks, I'm thinking, like we are ready to harvest. Okay, awesome. So, let's go ahead. We'll get the tractor started on that first thing this morning. Uh, the oats and the canola will be next month. Um, so let's head over to our tractor, we'll go ahead and shut that guy off for now. We'll come back to that. Um, well, we got a lot of animals being sold, huh? Okay, let's go get our harvester out. Uh, we also need to get a tractor trailer. Um, let's see, this one's probably empty. So let's go ahead and fill this one up. We'll take the semi off of the other trailer. We're going to get our grain trailer and go ahead and start it up to the uh, top of the hill there get it in place for emptying into and today is a good day it's harvest day all right we'll get that filling up there let's go ahead and grab this guy uh let's just go ahead and park this over here Let's check on all of our animals and everything first to make sure we're good and check on our production, see if we need to fill anything up currently real quick. All right, so <coughs> the cattle are doing just fine. They are almost out of, I think we probably have like another 400K here. Um, these sheep are low. These sheep are low. How are our chickens? They are needing fed as well. These sheep are doing okay. Uh, these sheep are doing okay, and the cattle are doing just fine. Um, they should be fine until we get to them. All right, productions. Do we have anything that is not running? Let's double check here. All right. Um, we have something red here. What is this? Oh, slurry, of course. And then, <clears throat> all right, we have run out of water here, so we'll have to get some water going on those guys. I'm not too worried about that. Um, those are almost done, which is really nice. Uh, looks like they probably got, what, two more months left? 
they use actually no they use about 9600 a month so they've got about a month left um so that's really good we'll get this finished up next month we'll probably get the uh, tmr mixers swapped around which is really really good uh let's go ahead and check our gold yep we're gonna need that there and we need some water into our gold production facilities now so Uh, milk, we're not getting too low there, but we're looking okay. Slurry in that one is still full. Strange. Okay, um, clothing. Oh, yeah, we're doing really good on clothing. We actually probably could, once we get the cotton, we could put down to probably another one or two clothing manufacturing, so that would be really good. Uh, let's fill these guys up. and keep them going this guy has still not touched its milk i don't know where that milk is but it's not using it okay clothing we're doing good this guy needs more slurry this tmr mixer is getting low but i don't want it to run too long so let's just do that um probably another month or so with that one and then we'll run it out we've got plenty of tmr for now so if we need to let it run out we can metal's doing just fine and we need to get the wool in. Yes. Okay. So we do need to get wool into all those guys. We'll put another like 3,000 in, uh, three or 4,000, depending on how much wool we have available. Uh, these guys are doing good. And these gold need stone. There we are. There we are. Okay. Uh, so we need to fill up some water. So we'll grab our water truck, start it filling up. Because if memory serves, I think we can drop off the water trailer and leave it to um, get full while we uh, drive away. I think I don't think we need to be connected to fill it. I know we need to be connected to empty it, but I think to fill it, we can go ahead and just leave it there filling. So... Let's go ahead and see if we can start that process. And if we can leave it filling while we drive off, that would be the best case scenario. So. Is it still filling? It is. All right, we're good. Okay, we'll leave that to fill up while we're gone. We need to get the... Um, grain bins or grain trailers and get those guys out to the field and get the harvester out to the field and get the harvest started so let's go ahead and work on that We'll go ahead and get these guys open. Big harvest day today. I'm really excited about this. We're going to have a lot to do. If we get done harvesting this field and we can move into uh, tomorrow, I'll actually be really happy about that as well. Uh, we could probably harvest the canola and the oat, uh, but definitely going to be doing a lot of harvesting in the next little while. Okay, so this fella. We're going to park right here on the edge of the field. Yeah, that looks good to me. All right, let's head down and grab our harvester. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Okay, we need to move our cotton harvester out, so let's hop in there. And remember, this one's actually going to get uh, sold as soon as we get it full the rest of the way and get the uh, bale out of there. Because this one, we cannot fold the head. Um makes it very hard to get through places as you can see I may not even be able to get through here yeah I'm gonna have to push this trailer out of the way here we go all right, let's go ahead and we'll just park this guy down here anyways. We're going to be using him here in the next few months. So uh, we'll just leave him down here by the barn. I think it'd be the best place for him and out of the way. And then once we get the cotton out, we'll sell this one, rebuy it, 
and uh, buy the one where we can take the head off because if we can take the head off, it'd be a lot easier to park. So, is what it is. All right, let's keep that guy there. Head back over to the barn. We need the harvester and we need the grain head. So, oh, we've got the corn. Okay. Got that head on there currently, don't we? Is that all connected? Yes, it is connected. So let's go ahead and lift that up. We'll get that out of there. And we will need tractors soon. So let's put this head somewhere where it's out of the way for a while. Maybe right over here is just fine, I guess. Yeah. Looks good to me. Here we are. Let's see, are we fully repaired and everything? Yeah, we seem pretty good. So I think we're repaired enough we can run this field. Uh, we've got enough fuel as well. So let's go ahead and get this guy fully unfolded, ready to rock and roll. And we'll get him started on there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this on a worker. And then uh, as this worker is running this field, we're gonna go ahead and start putting away all the pallets that we have from last night. Uh, get the wool into the spinneries, that kind of thing, and kind of take up that space and job time while the field's getting done we'll head over there and do that uh some big stuff we need to do there and then when it's full we'll come over and empty it out do all that kind of deal so let's go down here and get this guy started a nice big field and then we're also going to need to get the hay out of here so we're going to have to get the tractor and the heart of the uh forge wagon and do that as well so all right let's see here no that's not what we want that's what we want all righty and uh harvesting we go and i want to make sure that we have uh yep that's what i thought I do want to enable straw. Here we go. Alright, now we got straw cooking. Okay, I'm going to set this off on a worker here. And let him run. And uh, let's go ahead and head down to the farm here. Uh, this guy needs to run, so let's go ahead and get him emptying. And then we'll probably start in with the uh, bucket again and the wheel loader and get that taken care of. Oh, going the wrong way. Actually, you know what? I'll pull around this way. It's not too big of an issue. We'll pull around the backside. And we'll start loading everything up. Yeah, we got a lot of... Oh, no. Oh, that was close. We almost ran into our field. That was scary. Don't want to destroy our canola. Okay. We'll offload here and we'll offload into the other one. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. Um, all right, that is going. Cool. We need to, yeah, get all this stuff put away. So I think what we'll do, we'll grab all the gold, all of the, um, cheese, butter. Uh, we'll basically get all this up. We need to get more water in over here, though, so I need to grab the water truck. Shoot. I'll tell you what. Let's grab this guy. Um. Yeah, let's grab this guy, and uh, we'll head down there. We'll just leave that there. We'll bring the harvester over to it. Well, it's not a really big deal to drive halfway across the field to unload into the trucks. Um, cause I'm gonna need to use this truck down here for now. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. I need to grab the water and start getting it into the silo over here with the greenhouses. So that way we can have water for our gold production as well. Cause I think it pulls from that tank. So it should be pretty close to being done. I don't know. It takes quite a while to fill this thing up with water. 
Let's hook up and see where we're at. Halfway, okay. Well, we'll leave that running then for a bit. Um, all right, we will grab it here in just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna hop into a time lapse. Uh, we're gonna get all these pallets picked up, everything put away. And once that's done, we'll uh, focus on the field and start getting it. Uh, all the hay picked up, all the hay put away, or all the straw, sorry, and um, get that straw into the barn for storage for now, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. I may feed some to the cattle, uh, but I am going to need it for the TMR station, so we're just going to see how much we have. So for right now, I'm going to store it, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse, and we will see you here in just a little bit after we get all this stuff picked up. Until then, enjoy the music.
parts here and uh, go get our combine repaired. It is getting pretty low. Uh, but we're about halfway done with the field. We got most of the pallets put up, which is looking really good. And uh, yeah, moving right along here, guys. So I'm pretty excited about what we got going. Now, we got to look here soon and see. I'm not sure what all we need to sell. We need to, we need to keep an eye on that because this is selling season. Every month there's going to be something to sell. Um, so we got to be weary of that. Keep an eye on it. Next thing we need to do, though, is we need to get the rest of the cotton up from the uh, sheep pens and look at our, get our sprayer there. We need to look at what we need to put into, um, I should probably fold this guy up. I think we can back it in here and um, repair everything while it's backed in. Let's just take a look here and see. Oh, wrong way there. Uh-oh. Uh, we fold it up. Let's uh, unfold the pipe so we can go forward and then we'll fold it back up. There we go. Um, and then, yeah, I think we'll be good. Let's see if we can repair it. Should be able to get it in far enough where we can repair it and the head at the same time. Um, let's just take a look here and see. Uh, yep, we can. Okay, so yeah, that thing is in bad condition. So let's go ahead and repair that up. And then the tractor itself, get that repaired as well. This one's a good deal. So, all right, there we go. Should be good to go now. Uh, we might as well go ahead and grab fuel. Uh, let's go ahead and head down and grab some diesel. Uh, I think we have room we can drive through here with the combine head on. We'll get it fueled up and then we'll continue on with the field. And then we'll take a look and see what all we need to do from there. Um, these guys still have some room for pallets, so not too worried about that. We do need to get out to the sawmills and get those pallets put away as well. And yeah, we'll just have to see what else we got going. So looking really good though. Uh, harvest is going really well. All right, let's see. Can we get close enough to this thing to fuel? That's the real question. Can I do it right off the front here? Let's see. And I'm just gonna try and pull as close as I can here and see, can we, ah, we can. Yes, very nice. Okay, we'll get her fueled up and let's get her back out to the field and get her going. So not bad, yeah, just a little bit more wool to put up, and then we'll see how we're going to distribute that between our spinneries, um, kind of go from there. Once these two, again, get done with, let's pick this guy up so it doesn't hit our grass there, or our uh, canola. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do with our sheep and our wool, because we need to get that put away. But not bad, a full truckload of barley, and we're about halfway through the field, or just over halfway, so looking really good for barley. We do have the hay set up, we have the tractor ready for that, so we'll probably hop into that here in just a minute. Uh, that'll probably be our next time lapse. Once we get this tractor going, we'll take a quick look at what we got coming up to sell, what we need to keep an eye on, and then we'll probably hop into one of the last time lapses of the video. We'll kind of get through getting all the hay up, uh, getting that put away in the barn. Yeah, we're just about halfway through the field so looking really good really good yield uh, really good barley so let's go ahead and set this guy down and let's get him on a worker should be able to put him right about let's see right about there and off he goes very nice okay so while we're driving along here let's just go ahead and take a look see and see what we got going. We do need to finish feeding out the cattle. Uh, that is something we do need to do. Uh, what else do we have coming up for sale? The gold is coming up in July. That's pretty soon. Flowers, we already got out of there. Mushrooms is October. Uh, right now we could sell metal, planks, prefabs. We got a lot of that we could sell. That's out of March, but the prices are actually really decent right now. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. So looking really good there. We are going to be getting the, um, what's it called, the uh, grain mills going again here very soon. Um, milk, we're going to have to figure something out with the milk because we are actually almost full on milk. We really need to keep an eye on this. We may have to sell some at a lower price. I don't want to. Um, I'd like to try and make it to October. Maybe we put down a another storage facility there. Not too sure. But uh, yeah, all in all pretty decent okay let's go ahead and hop over to uh, this guy and get these last little bales of cotton picked up because uh, we do need to get those put into the storage facility and we'll see cotton wise what we're going to be doing as far as 
sorry, I'm not caught in like that. Um, we'll see where we need to put these, and then kind of go from there. And I know our spinneries have a pretty decent amount in it, but I like to keep them pretty even. Uh, we just need to make sure again that they have about 3,000 every month, so that way they don't run out. Uh, they go through about 2,800 months. So just a big, make sure that doesn't, because our clothing manufacturing is actually doing really well now. I've been pretty happy with the fact that it's keeping up with the pace. Uh, we haven't really run out of fabric, which is really nice. We actually have a little bit of an excess. If we continue on with the excess we have after we harvest our cotton, we may be able to put down another clothing production facility. Uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on that and see. But uh, that could be another possibility for a little bit more production. If we are making excess cloth, we might as well make clothes with it because uh, cloth still sells for a good price, but clothing is definitely a lot more. So, all right. Let's see what we can do here. Get this guy and then we'll get the other one. I think it's probably time to move on to getting the hay picked up and belling that. Uh, or sorry, not belling it. We're going to pick it up with the uh, Ford wagon and the uh, windrow. And get that all picked up and ready to rock and roll. I think we go ahead and spin the truck around and bring it down here. Uh, but I think we just have this last wool production facility here down here. Yep, these guys. And I'm pretty sure we got the other ones. We'll have to run up there and check Make sure we got them. Make sure they don't run out. We still have a little bit of gold we could pick up and throw in if we wanted to, but I think I'm going to leave it where it is. Um, yeah, this one's a little bit different. Let's just go ahead and pull these out of here. Set them down and then we'll grab the truck, bring it over here and load them on it. Actually, you know what? We'll just load them in right now and then we'll bring the truck over for the rest. We're so close to the storage facility, I think we'll just drop them over. Not a big issue. I think I could sneak in there and get those other two. Let me set this one with this one. And we'll just grab all four of them all at once here. There we go. Let's see if we can sneak in here and get these two. want to disturb the one that's not full, otherwise it will stop uh, being that way. Push these over here out of the way a little ways. Yeah, we can. Just get those here in a second. Then we'll bring the truck over, drop off what we had, and then I think we'll double check the rest of the pallets. Um, I think we can leave the sawmills for a little while. We're pretty good there. And then we will go ahead and start picking up the hay. I don't think we can put a worker on it. We can try. But I'm pretty sure we have to do the hay ourselves. Um, let's push those together. And we got a full grain tank here in just a second, so we'll go and do that. Alright, and then once we get the hay picked up, again, we're going to start prepping the field for what we're going to put into it. I think we decided we were going to put, like, carrots or something. We're really going to have to look at that. I'm not sure. Um, and I think we have to do it this month. So we really need to be uh, checking out and making sure and seeing what we're going to do for the next one. So let's double check that real quick. It's been a minute. Um, so yeah, we are looking at possibly doing carrots in this field now. Uh, there's not really anything else we could do in that field except for another load of barley, um, which would be fine. But if we do carrots here, we could do car pick carrots in November. And then honestly, we could do cotton sugar beets more any you know, oats whatever we want to do up in that field um for the remainder of the year i don't think we're going to need any more barley uh we're definitely going to have a lot and uh if we need to get hay we can always do another field for hay so or uh straw not too worried about that so let's go ahead park this fellow over here on the side and we'll grab the truck unload the cotton there and then we just need to take a look at these spinneries and see how much they have in them um if we need to pull over the rest of the wool there and put them in the spinnery we will but i don't think we'll need to let's go ahead actually let's go ahead and unload the uh combine real quick it's probably getting full yep there it is go ahead and take over this yeah we're gonna have a lot of straw here 
It's really good. The vineyards are doing really good. I'm looking forward to doing that. Remember, we are going to have to get the equipment for the great vineyard. Um, so we'll grab that here in just a little bit. Um, we are going to have to get that equipment soon. Let's go ahead and start off loading this guy and then go grab the semi. And yeah, let's get these put away. I think we can make a turnaround right here without hitting our canola. Just double check and see. Uh, yes, we can. Very nice. All right. And I think is the canola field ready to go? There's that next month. Let's just double check here. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, that's next month. Uh, so this will be next month, beginning of next month or tomorrow morning, we will get that done. Uh, we are going to have to take some time here soon to get the rest of the TMR into the cattle and make sure the TMR mixers are doing their job and go from there. All right, now that we have this, let's park this over by the uh, cart and harvester. And we will start working on the field prep and everything else. Right. Let's just park this trailer right here for now. Okay, so we have, yeah, a lot of that to do. Oh, we're in the wrong trailer. Let's get this guy. Offload the rest of this. So we're probably going to have another truck, truck and a half worth of barley, which is going to be really good for us. We'll go ahead and get the combine back on the field, and then we'll start in with the tractor, uh, picking up the straw, getting that down to the barn for storage, and see how much of it we can get. I'm really hoping we get quite a bit. Um, we do have the oat field, right, over on the other side. It's going to be ready as well very soon. Uh, so not only are we going to have barley, we're going to have oats, and we're going to have a lot of straw out of that field as well. Some really exciting stuff. Um... And a really good summer we're going to have here in the middle of year eight. Remember, we've got the rest of this year, year nine, year ten to go. And, uh, yeah, it's looking, looking really great, guys. All right, where did he stop at? Oh, there it is. I thought it was going that way. I missed it. All right, so we're gonna have to look into the vegetable planting. I'm not sure. I haven't really ever done carrots, honestly. I haven't done the vegetables. Um, that's something that will be quite new, to me at least. Uh, I have not actually done that. Uh, so I am looking forward to it. Give it a little bit of a shot there and see how we do. Um, we'll just have to see what kind of equipment we're gonna need, what's gonna cost us, we're gonna go from there. All right, so let's hop into uh, this tractor here. We're gonna go ahead and start in on the straw. I am going to time lapse this. We'll finish up getting the straw up and then we'll kind of see where we're at for the day and possibly get another tractor on the backside of the field and start doing the mulching and cultivating and getting this field ready to go for uh, vegetables. So until then, hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you here in just a few minutes.
All right, it's a lot of straw, but we are just about done. And that will just about wrap it up. All right, looking really good. Um, let's go ahead and get this put in and we'll get that folded up. All right, so we got the tractor going on there. He's about uh, three quarters of the way done mulching. I think we're gonna let him finish. And while he does that, we'll clean up the uh, tractor here, get the trailer cleaned up, get the uh, windrow cleaned up as well, get it sprayed and get it put back where it's supposed to be. Um, I think we're almost done here for today. We got a few more things to catch up and then uh, next on the list is going to be looking into that equipment for planting the carrots and working on that. So we got to figure out what equipment we're going to need, how we're going to do that. If we need to cultivate, I know we need to make rows um, and that's what one of the machine does so we can plant uh, the carrots in the rows. But I'm not sure if we need to cultivate first. So we're going to have to look into that, see what we need to do there. Uh, we ended up with quite a bit of straw here. Um, let's get a final count here once we get this put away and see exactly where we're at. Now remember this field is probably about three times smaller than the other field that we're going to be doing. Um, so we'll probably get about triple what we got here. So let's take a look. Oh yeah, we got just shy. We should be just over three quarter of a million liters in straw. That's really good for the one field that we did. Remember we have that oat field that's going to be, I think it's about three, three times bigger than what we have here. So we should end up with what I wanted, which is about two million liters of straw by the end of the next couple months which would be really good for our silage or our uh, total mix ration. We do need to get the cows fed, probably do that the next episode. Uh, we'll have more time to do it then while we have the machines running in the field and getting all of the hay or not the hay, but the carrots uh, planted and getting all that ready to rock and roll. We also are going to have a harvest of the canola next month. Oh, got a truck running over here. Let's go ahead and shut that off real quick so it doesn't just sit there and waste fuel. There we are. Um, so we'll need to figure out what equipment we're going to use for that. Uh, and we're going to have to acquire that. And then we'll get to see, get all that going. We'll get carrots down. So uh, we'll probably switch over the main tractor that's doing the mulching right now to the fertilizer. Go ahead and get the field double fertilized, get it ready to rock and roll. And then see, I'm not sure if we need to cultivate or not. Um, if we can just run the rows without cultivating, we'll do that. If we need to cultivate first, we'll do that first. And then we'll come in behind, set up the rows and do the planter and get all the carrots put in there. So what I'm thinking about doing is probably planting carrots this month and next month. So what we'll do is we'll plant carrots in the field that we just harvested today. And then after we get the canola out of there, we'll go ahead and prep that field and get it planted next month. So we'll have two carrots back to back uh, month to month. Um, so we'll take a look at that and see, but let's go ahead and get all this cleaned up and put away because we won't need it here for just a little while. We do not have to get anything out of the canola field once we harvest it. Now the oat field we will, but that's going to be a very large field and that is going to be a fun time, let me tell you, but it'll be really good. We'll come up with quite a bit of straw after we're done with this wheat field or oat field over here. It's going to be good. Let's get the tractor cleaned up while we're here too. I've still been toying with the idea of getting a new tractor, one of the 8 series tractors um, to help work out on the field. I think I'm going to make the 7 series tractor just the mowing and swathing tractor for over here on this main field uh, for our grass, for our silage. Um, so we may end up getting another 8 series tractor, I'm not sure. Remember we are going to have to fill up the cotton harvester one time, empty it, sell it, and then get the new one so we can get the head that uh, comes off of it and make it a little bit easier to pull and put that thing away. Uh, but we'll work on that. We don't have to harvest cotton for a few more months, uh, so we should be able to work on that here before too long. But let's get all this cleaned up and put away. By the time we're doing doing this, uh, hopefully our mulching tractor should be about done with that field over there. We'll check up on it and see how it's doing. All right, let's go ahead and get the trailer put inside, and then we'll get the... Oh my, this is going to be interesting. Okay, make sure we do not hit our oat field because it will destruct. I want to be careful here. I think we can pick this pallet up. I think it's low enough now. Let's see. Can we pick this guy up? Yes, we can. Um, no, it's just too heavy. Okay, so um, before too long, we'll be able to pick that guy up. Ooh, do not hit our field. We want as much straw and oat as we can get, and this trailer does not have to be in any particular place, just straight in will be good. And I think right about there will probably do it. Yep, nice right there. 
Let's go ahead and get this off. All right, let's drop the wind row, and then we'll probably switch this tractor over to help down on the field over there. Um, again, we're going to have to get that equipment for the carrots, so we'll have to look into that very shortly. So let's go ahead and uh, park this guy over there by the main barn. And we do have quite a bit of wood we need to put up at the sawmills. We'll have to look into doing that. Maybe while we're feeding the cattle, uh, we'll wrap all that into while the field the tractor's doing the field work over there. Uh, we'll come over here and get the wood put up. We might end up selling some of it. We got really good prices right now. All summer long, we're going to have really good prices on uh, prefabs, planks, and all that, so we can sell it whenever. The main planks, we're definitely going to have to take a look at and see. Um, I'm pretty sure they only sell once a year, so we'll get on to those. But uh, looking wonderful. We've got actually quite a bit of grass in there for silage already. Uh, we'll fill that bad boy up here in the next few months and get a bunch more silage going. Uh, we do need to check on the oil production, see how close it is to being zero. Uh, once it gets down to zero, we're going to move that production facility over there and put the TMR, second TMR machine um, over there next to the other one. Make it a little bit easier for organizational purposes here. All right, let's go ahead. We'll just drop this tractor in the barn right here. And uh, <clears throat> we'll head up to the field, see how close our other tractor is to being done mulching. All right, let's see here. Let's just check everything out and see how we're doing. Okay, so like we said, we ended up with a total of 756,000 liters of straw. Absolutely fantastic. Um, We've still got quite a bit of silage stuck in there as well, what we can get out if we need. TMR we're doing amazing on. I uh, got almost uh, two, and a, two and three quarter million there. The milk, that is something we are going to have to keep an eye on. They are definitely getting pretty full over there. All right, let's check out our animals, make sure everybody's fed properly here. Uh, those guys are going to need more food soon. How about these guys? They're going to need more food soon. Chickens are definitely going to need more feed. We'll give them some barley. Um... These sheep are going to need more, and these sheep are doing okay. But we'll top all those guys off. I think we'll probably use the grass that we have, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we may just buy some hay and uh, feed those guys up a little bit. All right, let's go hop in this tractor and see how close we are to being done over here. Okay, well, he is uh, doing circles. All right, let's take over for this guy real quick. He must have seen a stump over here somewhere. Let's just kick him back on the field and see if we get him going again. All right, buddy. Do your work now. No field found. <laughs> Interesting. Let's uh, make sure you find a field. Then. How about now? You good? All right, there he goes. <clears throat> we'll have him run off and uh, finish this field. Hopefully he can finish it out the rest of the way. We should probably come through with our uh, stump grinder and get all those stumps out of there out of the way for this guy. Um, so that way on the backside of this field, it doesn't have as much of an issue. So, all right, looking really great, guys. So um, we have this guy here ready to rock and roll for canola next month. Uh, let's take a quick peek at what we're gonna need for the corn or for carrots just take a look here okay so um let's see uh do, do, do vegetable tech where's vegetable tech at uh, da, 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 da. let's see here vegetable tech there we are okay so we got this guy which creates the ridges and then we have this guy pulls them out of the ground. Where's a planter? What's this guy? This is the planter. All right, this one's a bigger one that does ridges. So this one does ridges three meters wide. This one does ridges six meters wide. It is going to take a little while to do that. All right, so we're going to have to do... All right, so we're going to use this for ridges. And then is this six meters wide too to plant? Okay. So can we attach the planter and the ridges together? No, we cannot. So we're going to have to run two tractors right behind each other. Um, so we'll do ridges with this fella and plant with this fella. We may look to see there may be some bigger equipment that becomes available. 
Um, see kind of what's out there for vegetable tech. Maybe we can find something a little bit bigger, better and better um, to help us kind of move along. We do have quite a large field to do that in, so we'll go from there. All right, guys. Well, um, wonderful episode. We got a lot done today. We got a lot of stuff put up. We got the field cult or not cultivated, but harvested, sorry, and ready to rock and roll. We got a lot of the pallets put up, got some new storage down. Um, this is going to really work out good for us as far as getting that stuff done. We have a bunch of gold that we need to get sold soon. Um, really looking forward to doing that. We're going to have, yeah, over $20 million. In, oh, gold is actually, uh-oh. Gold is up. So next episode, we are going to be selling gold right away. Uh, we're also going to be selling planks right away and get that done as well. This is going to be a really good, let's see, what is it, June? Is that why we're doing this? Yeah, we're getting into July. Uh, that gold price is coming up. It is over the top right now, so we need to go ahead and get that $20 million worth of gold sold. So a huge sale coming up next episode. Uh, we'll also get those planks sold, and we'll also get a bunch of this wood sold, and we'll make a lot of money next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, as always, have a royal day, and until we see you next time, take care.